Hi guys, it's Legionero. Welcome back to my channel. I'd like to also welcome all of my new subscribers. Today I'm going to show you how to make this quick and easy bucket bag. I'll show you how to draw out your pattern, how to mark the placement of your grommets, and how to sew up your bag. Um, I won't be showing you how to do the adjustable strap or the drawstring, but I will link my video on how to make an adjustable strap in the description box below. You construct the drawstring the exact same way as you construct the strap. All right, so I'll make sure that I link all of the information in the description box below. I will also link some awesome videos on how to install grommets as well. So let's get started on making this really cute, easy, bucket bag. When marking the placement of the grommets, I only marked three on both sides, but as I was adding my drawstring to the bag, I did realize that having four grommets on each side would be better. So as you're marking the placement of your grommets, be sure to add an additional marking for a fourth grommet. This helps um, weed the drawstring through the bag a little bit easier. All right, so let's get started by drafting our pattern. So you should find your measurements in the description box below for each side. I'll make sure that I create a diagram so you'll know which measurements goes with which part of the pattern. So I'm going to do the first measurement which will be the top of your bucket bag All right and the first measurement is 14 inches All right, so your next measurement, I'm at the bottom of the 14 inch line that we just made. The next measurement is going to be 11 and 3 quarters. So now we're going to go to the top of the 14 inch line and we're going to draw another 11 and 3 quarter inch line. Alright, so I'm going back to the bottom at the end of the bottom 11 and 3 quarter inch line that we just drew. We're going to draw a 2 and 1 fourth inch line. All right, and we're going to do the same thing to the top line. You're going to draw a 2 and a quarter inch line. And at the top of the two and a quarter inch line, you're going to draw a two inch line. Right, so not at the bottom, but at the part that has the open space in the middle, you're going to draw a two inch line. You're going to do the same thing to the other two and a quarter inch line. You'll draw a two inch line there. So all we have to do now is close up our line at the bottom.
All right, so this is what your pattern piece should look like. All right, so let's just go back and put our measurements. This is your 14 inch line. This is your 11 and 3 fourths. 11 and 3 fourths. This line here is 2 and 1 fourth. This line is 2 inches. And then you just close up your line. And if you want to measure that, you can. It should be 6 and 1 fourth. And if that line is slightly off, that's absolutely fine. Right, you can label this bucket bag, cut one of fabric on fold, and this line here, that's your six and one fourth line, that is your fold line. Cut one of lining on fold and depending on your fabric that's the type of interfacing that you will cut so let's say you're using cotton cloth for this you would cut one of fusible fleece on fold and cut one of woven interfacing on fold for your lining piece. But of course if you're using a cork or faux leather or anything like that you won't be using any interfacing for your fabric but you will use interfacing for your lining unless you have a really sturdy lining that you want to cut. Now let's say you're using an upholstery or canvas weight fabric then you would cut one of woven interfacing because you don't have to use really heavy interfacing if you're using a canvas or an upholstery fabric all right all right so now all you have to do is cut around your solid line with your paper scissors All right, so let's mark the placement of our grommets. And I'm just going to do three grommets on each side. You can do more if you want. Um, you just do what works best for you. So what I'm going to do from the top edge, I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure down one inch. So I measure down one inch. And then from each side, I'm going to measure in four inches. So from my left, I'm going one, two, three, four, and I'm making a mark. And from my right, I'm measuring in four inches. One, two, three, four, and I'm going to make a mark. Right? So from this four inch mark on my left, I'm going to count in three inches. One, two, three, and make a mark. All right, so this will be where my three grommet places will be. So. You measure in on both sides four inches and then count three inches from the four inch mark that you made. Doesn't matter if you count three inches from the right or three inches from the left. And once I start to assemble the bag and add the grommets, if I need to add some extra grommets on the end, I'll do that. Um, 
but we'll see once we start to construct the bag. All right, so let's go ahead and cut out our fabric and our interfacing. All right, so for the purposes of the video, I won't be using any interfacing um, for two reasons. One, I don't want this video to be super long, and two, the fabric that I'm using doesn't really require interfacing. Um, this denim that I'm using is very heavy. And if I add interfacing to it, it will make it really difficult to sew in certain places. All right. All right, so fold your fabric in half. Um, usually your fabric is with the right size spacing, but this has the wrong size spacing. That's just how I picked it up. Um, take your pattern piece and where you wrote fold here on this smaller end, you place this end of your pattern piece on the fold and you cut around your lines. All right. Once you cut out your pattern piece and you open up your fabric, this is what it should look like. You should have one whole piece that looks just like this. All right, so now let's cut out our lining. And again, if you're using interfacing, go ahead and cut out the interfacing you need for your exterior piece. So again, when you cut your lining, you're going to place your pattern piece on the fold. Take your pattern weights. and cut around. All right, and again, when you open it out, your pattern piece should look like this. And if you're using interfacing, go ahead and cut out your interfacing because we're going to add a strap. So for the strap tabs, just make sure you cut out two pieces of fabric. You can use your exterior fabric or you can use your lining fabric. I'm going to use my lining fabric just for a pop of color. Go ahead and cut out two pieces that are two inches by two inches. All right. And I am actually going to interface these pieces because I want these to be very sturdy. All right, so now that you have your fabric cut and interfaced, let's go ahead and clip it together so we can sew it. So what you're going to do, you're going to fold it together with right sides facing, right? So it, it looks like that when you open it up. So with right sides facing, take some clips and clip down each side. And you're going to sew down both sides at a half an inch seam allowance. Now once you have both sides sewn down, then you're going to work on sewing the corners. So I've already sewn up my lining. All right. So when you get ready to sew up your lining, you place it with right sides facing just like you did with the exterior piece. And you're going to sew down one side and on the other side you're going to leave an opening. You're going to leave an opening so that you can turn your bag to the right side once we're done putting it together. So you sew completely down one side and you sew about two inches stop, leave about a five or six inch opening and then sew the rest of it together. And when you get ready to sew your corners, 
what you're going to do I've already sewn this one up so you can see what it looks like so what you're going to do you're going to take your corners and you're going to open them up like this and I like to open up this seam allowance And you're going to pin or clip it together. Right, and then you sew across. And then when you finish sewing, that's what it should look like. All right. But don't forget to leave the opening in one of your side seams. So when you get ready to sew up your exterior piece, you sew your sides and then you sew your corners just like I just showed you on your lining piece. You won't leave an opening in your exterior piece. For your strap tabs, this is what you're going to do. You're going to take them to the ironing board and you're going to fold it in half. And you want to press it. Once you fold it in half, you take each end and fold it towards the crease in the center and press. Right? Then you take it to the sewing machine and you sew down both sides. Once you've sewn down both sides, go ahead and take your D-ring and place your strap through the D-ring, strap tab through the D-ring fold it over and sew it to secure it in place. Once you're finished, it should look like this. All right. Once you've sewn the sides and the corners of your bag together, your exterior bag, go ahead and take your strap tab with your D-ring and place it in the center of the seam allowance on the right side. I'm just going to take a pin, pin it in place, and I'm just going to Sew across to secure this in place. And 
And I'm going to do the same thing with the other strap tab and the other side seam. All right, so now that you have your exterior and your lining bag done, make sure um, that your exterior is turned to the right side and you have your strap tab sewn at both side seams. Go ahead and take your lining and you're going to place the exterior on the inside of your lining. So the right sides should be facing. So the wrong side of your lining is facing you, but the right sides of the bag, the exterior bag and the lining should be facing each other. All right, so you're just going to find your side seams. All right, clip those together. And then just clip around the rest of the bag. Once we have it clipped all the way around, we take it to the sewing machine and sew all the way around. Once you have sewn around your bag, you can go ahead and trim down your seam allowance. Alright, once you have your seam allowance trimmed down, go ahead and find the opening that you left in the lining and go ahead and turn your bag inside out. So now you want to take this to the sewing machine. Go ahead and close up this opening that you left in the lining and place your lining on the inside of your bag. Once you have your lining on the inside of the bag, I'm going to press mine because I use denim. So I'm going to press it and get this part nice and neat and then I'm going to top stitch all the way around. Now once I'm done top stitching, what I'm going to do next, and this is optional, you don't have to do this part, but you're going to go ahead and mark where you're going to place your grommets. 
But what I'm going to do to help me out, after I top stitch real close around the top of the bag, I'm going to also top stitch down one inch all the way around the top of the bag, right? And that's going to kind of help me with my um, keeping my grommets kind of in line and not crooked. So I'm going to top stitch around the top of the bag and then I'm going to go down one inch and top stitch again at one inch around the bag. If you have a grommet press, you can go ahead and place your grommets that way. If you have the hand tool, go ahead and um, use your instructions and place your grommets that way. I won't be showing that on camera, but I will link to some videos that will help you place grommets if you don't know how or if you have a hard time doing it. I'll um, link one video that uses a press machine and I'll link another video that uses the hand press. Um, or the hand tools um, so you can place your grommets. Only other thing you have to do is make your adjustable strap. I will link to my video on how to make an adjustable strap in the description box below. And you also need to add a drawstring um, through your grommets. Watch that how to make an adjustable strap video and create your drawstring and you'll be all done with your bucket bag. All right, guys, that's it. Now you have a quick and easy bucket bag. I can't wait to see all of your beautiful designs. Don't forget to tag me on social media at Legionero B Patterns, and I'll see you in my next video.